one. This is Richard Roth at Belmont Racetrack and Justify, who is on his way here to try to win a triple crown of horse racing, is arriving in this special horse van from the airport, about an hour long drive. And shortly, Justify, trained by Bob Baffert, will walk down uh, some planking and head into barn one here. Bob Baffert, the same trainer who uh, trained American Pharaoh, who won the triple crown, the three jewels of horse racing special legs, the Kentucky Derby Preakness and uh, the Belmont. Uh, and Baffert is again uh, happy to be here. And uh, he's not that happy about having the number one post position. But let's take a look to see if Justify is the first horse off the van. We're going to get a good look at this three-year-old who didn't raise as a two-year-old and thus won the Kentucky Derby for the first time in more than a century as a two-year-old. No horse had really done that uh, in forever. Uh, Justify drew post one, and uh, it's a long mile-and-a-half race on Saturday when the Belmont Stakes occurs. And if there's no bobble at the beginning, the horse should be able to recover from anything. Big crowd of media here, security. Horse racing is very popular, maybe not with the attendance at the track, but heavily simulcast, betting online. Uh, but there'll still be at least 90,000 people, we expect, here at Belmont Park on Saturday afternoon for the big race. Photographers urging uh, security to get out of the way. And watch out. There are nine other challengers. Nobody's won a triple crown with as many horses uh, posing them in the race when they go for the triple crown. Justify won the Derby and then didn't have the easiest finish at the uh, Preakness, though did win it both times in the mud. I think there's a 50, 60 percent chance of rain uh, on Saturday. But certainly Justify has proven that he can win in the mud, as they say. Bob Baffert said he didn't like the one post, but uh, uh, that should be the least of his problems. He does want Justify to get on the lead or get a comfortable position, though it's a long race. They always call the Belmont the jockey race because you really have to pace yourself. Horses don't run a mile and a half. It's one of the few races in the world and here that we expect that to be Justify unless there's some other horses coming out. Yep, Bob Baffert takes the reins, though he has another horse in the race. That's it. Justify is in. Joining me now, Beth Harris of the Associated Press. Beth, uh, as we walk closer here, tell me wh what uh, what do you think of Justify's chances? Well, I think they're pretty good, and I base that on the fact that trainer Bob Baffert has said that the horse is really holding his weight, and that's a huge thing because American Pharaoh, when he won the Triple Crown, he lost about 20 pounds between the Preakness and the Belmont, and that's something you don't want to see generally from a horse, and the fact that justifies holding his weight and appears to be good in terms of his energy, his attitude. What, what do we make of his uh, finish at the Preakness where Barrazzo and Tenfold, they were coming on a little, and yes, I know you can't always determine a race just by how they finish, but concerning at all? You know, I think it's given some hope to some long shot gamblers out there who uh, obviously won't make any money if Justify wins, but Barrazzo's got some Bonafides now, so he's definitely somebody to watch, but so is Hofberg, who sat out the Preakness. Keep an eye on him. He's the second choice going into Saturday's race. What's the state of horse racing? I know a big question. We get it every time there's a triple crown. I mean, American Pharaoh, a lot of publicity. It didn't really change things, did it? And would a win by Justify change the industry at all? You know, maybe not to the general public, but Bob Baffert was saying he has seen a lot of younger people coming into the sport wanting to buy horses and get in on a lower level and work their way up. So from that perspective, he feels there has been a boost. Does the number one post position on the rail for Justify give him a problem, you think? You know, I know it's going to be on Mike Smith to hustle the horse out of the gate and get him in a good position because the other horses are going to be coming over to the rail to save ground. Okay, Beth Harris, Racing Rider Associated Press, thank you very much for joining us. Now everybody's going to go look to see if they can see Justify in the stall. Maybe they'll bathe him. Gets total full car five star treatment here as a, a racehorse and a favorite to win the elusive historic uh, triple crown of horse racing it's the 150th edition of the belmont stakes on saturday late afternoon this is richard roth cnn facebook live at belmont racetrack yeah i mean we signed off uh, who knows